Sidewalk Labs has come under fire for its plans to build a 12-acre project, high-tech project, down on our waterfront. Well, now they want to expand it. And on Breakfast Television this morning, I had a chance to talk to their CEO, Dan Doctoroff, about exactly what they want to do. It's big, and it's complicated, and it's new, and we're trying to solve problems that people have been trying to solve uh, for a long time, and so you got to try some new approaches. We actually only want to develop a small portion of that, the original 12 acres plus maybe a little bit more. And what we want to do is help to actually provide the infrastructure for the rest of it uh, to actually be developed. And so what we really want to do is act as a catalyst. And in terms of you know, property tax and stuff, that would just be get paid back for the infrastructure we actually can provide that we don't think anybody else is going to provide. People get nervous when uh, corporations and companies want to get involved with infrastructure and running it. Uh, people bring up the 407 in this area. How do you guarantee that the city will get their money's worth out of this? Everything that we are talking about uh, is going to be completely subject to the political process. And I believe that there's a set of technologies that can really help us address these issues of affordability. And that's why, by the way, we've proposed on this site to have 40 percent of the units be below market or affordable. It's why we believe that there's a new approach to get actually getting people around that includes the extension of mass transit. This has been talked about the redevelopment for decades now of the Portlands. What kind of time frame, if, time frame, if this moved ahead, what would you be looking at for your time frame? For well, we're still on track to produce the plan sort of in the spring, um, and we're working furiously to get that together. Our hope is, is that a critical mass of approvals could be gained you know, over the course of, of this year. And, you know, good case, um, we'd be able to start construction um, on Keyside, mm -hmm. that 12-acre site next year. As I said, we don't want to develop um, the, the Portland. What we want to do is be a catalyst to actually having it get developed in a way that we've heard over the course of the last year Torontonians want. They want affordable housing. They want great access and, ma and mass transit and new ways of getting around. They want to live in an inclusive community. They want opportunity. Um, we believe that uh, there is a way to do that if we all work together and are creative in the approach. Now, for any of this to happen, it will still require city approval.